show you guys a really cool bass drum workout that you can do using the exercises from uh, Ted Reed's syncopation for the modern drummer. That's what it's called, yeah. Um, every drummer, every serious drummer, I think, should have a copy of this book in the house. Um, the cool thing about the exercises in syncopation is that they're not specific to one certain thing. Um, you can use these exercises to, to work on your coordination and you can use them to, to work on your endurance. So I got to the point where I wanted to start to strengthen my, my right foot because I prefer not to use a double pedal anymore. Um, so I just wanted to sort of strengthen my, my bass drum. So I was looking through the, the syncopation book and there's a couple of exercises that I already enjoyed doing. Um, but I decided to, to take one of the exercises in the book, add a little something to it, turn it into a bass drum sort of workout kind of exercise kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'll show you how I came about doing it, show you how to do it, and then hopefully it'll help you out in uh, getting that whole thing happening down there. So for those of you guys that have your syncopation book handy, we're going to be working from uh, lesson five, which is on number page number 12. So it's playing the dotted eight, 16 over the quarter note. Okay. Now, the most popular way to do the exercises in this book, you've probably seen before, or you've been told to play the jazz swing with the right hand while keeping some sort of bass drum, hi-hat, ostinato happening. And then you're gonna play the top line on the snare drum, okay? So you end up getting this kind of thing. It's an exercise that I used to do a lot, and it actually worked great for working on your coordination, separating the hands and the feet, and all that kind of stuff. Um, the way we're going to do it in this situation is we're going to make a couple of changes. We're going to play the top line on the bass drum, okay? And uh, in order to make the, the exercise more interesting, um, or at least what I did, to, to make it more interesting is I changed the feel of it. So instead of playing just a straight quarter feel, we're going to do more of a two over three type of, uh, type of feel. Okay? So with that, you end up with this kind of motion. So when you do it that way, like you'll see, like once the exercise um, starts going, you'll know right away like what what the what the the main effect of this exercise will be. But uh, this way, like when you play it this way, it creates a really cool sort of uh, dotted eight sixteen funk feel, and it actually sounds really cool. And it's something that's uh, that's also very practical. Like I, I normally don't like to to practice anything that I can't use in a in a regular playing situation. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna play through all 15 lines. Um, for those of you guys that are following along with the book, by the time you get to around line 11 or 12, that's when you're really gonna feel it. In the uh, in the old foot down there, so let's get into it. I'll show you what it looks like, and hopefully, for those that are uh, looking to get their right foot in shape, hopefully this this exercise will will help you out with that. Because I know it's helped me out a lot doing this. So uh, let's get into it, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. 